Hello all, I am Bina Rajesh Balal and today we are going to see the concept of Boolean Algebra and design of basic arithmetic circuits by the use of this concept of Boolean Algebra. Now let's see the introduction of Boolean Algebra. Boolean Algebra was introduced by George Boole in his first book Mathematical Analysis of Logic in 1847. It is a mathematical system which is used for manipulation of variables that can basically have two values either on and off which can be interpreted as high and low. In digital circuits high and low is interpreted as logic 1 for high and logic 0 for low. Now Boolean expressions are created by performing operations on Boolean variables. Common Boolean operators which relate to digital are AND, OR and NOT. Now basic use of Boolean algebra is to reduce the digital circuits to their simplest form and who helps us to do this particular reduction are the Boolean identities. Now let's have an overview of various Boolean identities which we can use for the reduction. Now some of the Boolean identities which you can see are shown over here. First law or identity is identity law which can be either in the form of AND form or OR form. So if I AND 1 with a variable, I will get the original variable. If I OR 0, logic 0 with the variable, I will get the original variable. Null law is if I AND with 0 the variable, I will get logic 0. If I OR 1 with the variable, I will get 1. Idem potent law is ending the variable twice, x and x will give me x, x or x will give me x. And inverse law is by ending or oring its complement, I get the output as shown in the figure. Now other uh, Boolean identities could be in the form of laws, commutative law, associative law and distributive law. As you can see from the figure, commutative law tells me that the order of the variables is not important. Associative law tells me that the bracket which you put for the variables is also not important on both the sides is the same. Distributive law gives me an idea of how to distribute the variables so that it can be used for the reduction of digital circuits. Now following Boolean identities are most important and found to be frequently used for reduction of digital circuits out of which the first one is absorption law, second one is de Morgan's law. De Morgan's is found to be a very popular and very very important and widely used law for the reduction of our digital circuits. De Morgan's law simply states that the complement of ending two variables is same as ordering the complements of individual variables. Another form of de Morgan's law is that complement of oring the two variables is same as ending of the complements of individual variables. And the third law or identity which is very popular is double complement law which simply says that if I complement any variable twice I will get my original variable x in this case. Now uh, th these are the list of various Boolean identities which we saw just now. So this is just at one go or overlook uh, of our uh, Boolean identities. Now as you know uh, the basic gates, let's just review them before we go forwards. Now basic gates are AND, OR and NOT. So AND gate symbol is like this. So AND gate is like X dot Y. So it's like a multiplication of two variables. X or Y. It's like plus. And NOT is nothing but it is complement. So if I give 0 as the input, I will get 1 as the output. If I give 1 as the input, I will get 0 as the output. Now let's see some special gates which are NAND and NOR gates. I call them special because of a very particular special feature which I will talk about in my next slide. Now and NAND gate is a complement of AND. That is why output of the NAND gate is X and Y the whole complement. So if you look at the truth table of the NAND gate, it is exactly reverse or opposite to that of the AND gate. Similarly, NOR gate is a complement of the OR gate. So that's why its expression is X or Y, the whole complement. 
again if you look at the truth table of the nor gate it is exactly inverse of that of the or gate this is the symbol of nand gate this is the symbol of nor gate now i talked about the special feature of nand and nor gate which is known as universal gates nand and nor gates are called universal gates because any basic gate can be constructed by using only nand gates or by using only nor gates this diagram shows me how i can construct either a nor gate or a and gate or a or gate only by using nand gates so in the diagram you will see only nand gates and nothing else same feature is there for the nor gate uh, i have constructed a or gate not gate and gate and or gate only by using nor gate so if you see i have used various boolean identities laws over here in order to prove how nor gate is known as universal gate now with this concepts in mind let's see the design of the half adder half adder is a circuit which has got two inputs which are denoted by x and y and two outputs which are sum and carry so the truth table of the half adder looks something like this so 0 0 sum is 0 carry is 0 0 1 sum is 1 carry is 0 1 0 sum is 1 carry is 0 1 1 sum is 0 and carry is 1 now taking the help of this particular truth table i can write the expression for sum and it is clearly showing that sum is equal to x or y that is x x or y in expression form i write down sum is equal to x complement y plus x y complement similarly looking at the expression output of the carry i can clearly know that this out this truth table output is same as that of the and gate so carry can be written as x and y so carry is equal to xy so i have got two expressions for output sum and carry with this i can draw the diagram for the half adder as x and y are my inputs carry and sum are my outputs sum is equal to x or y x x or y and carry is equal to x and y this is how you can design a half adder the knowledge of the half adder can be extended and can be used to design what is known as the full adder full adder is a combinational circuit which has got three inputs x y and carry in and it will have two outputs which are namely sum and carry out the truth table of the full adder is as shown in the figure so i have got three inputs that is why there are eight combinations which are possible in my truth table the expression for the sum is given as x x or y x or carry in and the expression for the carry out is x y plus x x or y and c in so using this expression i can construct what is known as full adder so my full adder will have two inputs three inputs x y carry in and two outputs which are sum and carry out as you can see from the diagram below one full adder can also be looked at is made up of two half adders and at the output i have got a or gate so two half adders along with one or gate can be constructed by using what is known as full adder so combination of this two will finally generate a full adder now summary of our lecture is that we have seen boolean functions can be completely described by truth tables i can use boolean identities in order to uh, uh, reduce any expression logic gates are small circuits which implement boolean operators basic gates are and or not xor nor and nand are our universal gates and combinational circuits such as half adder and full adder are designed by using boolean identities various references are is that i have referred in the google site for many of my diagrams so the other part of this particular session will be continued in the next lectures thank you so much for listening